discuss more complex sequences, such as the triangle numbers, where the nth term represented the partial sum of the first n terms of the arithmetic sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. In this video, we'll develop a methodology for finding partial sums of arithmetic sequences. Hey everyone, real quick, I just want to mention that this video is a part of a whole course that I made. You can find a link to this entire course in the description below and make sure to click on that subscribe button. Let's start by going through an example together. Let's find the sum 2 plus 5 plus 8 all the way up to 470. So the trick here is when you're adding up partial sums of arithmetic sequences, we can rewrite this, we can call this number here s, the total sum. We don't know what s is, we're trying to figure out what s is, but let's rewrite s in reverse order, where we start with 470, and then the next, the, the term before that was 467, since each difference here is three, plus 464, plus 461, plus 458, all the way down to two. So this is also s, they're both s, but written in different ways. And now we're gonna add s with s. And then we're gonna do so vertically because you'll notice something really cool here. Two plus 40, 470 is 472. Five plus 467 is 472. Eight plus 464 is 472. And you'll notice that each of these terms is 472. And so we're adding 472 to itself over and over again. How many times? Well, that's actually a trickier question to answer. Um, I'm just gonna give this one to you. This is 157 copies. You could do some linear algebra to figure this out. Um, simple linear algebra. I'm not talking like the complex linear vector space stuff. Um, that would be slightly simple, um, but don't worry about it. 2s in this case then equals 472 times 157. And so to figure out what s is, it's just 472 times 157 all over two. Whatever that number is, that's our total. This methodology of adding a sequence to itself and reversing the terms always works with partial sums of arithmetic sequences. So I highly recommend you try this tactic whenever you see a partial sum of an arithmetic sequence. Anyways, thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next lecture.